tell you it's not logging. Sorry to tell you guys. I see the shirt. Success is a lifestyle. So Mark and I are going to this 24 hour restaurant and um It's my cousin's restaurant. I drive. What's it called? Istanbul Cafe. It's is there Cafe 34 Istanbul? Okay, Cafe 34 Istanbul. My cousin's restaurant. But they're literally open for 24 hours. Like they don't close, y'all. Yeah. They don't close. But yeah. But it's like what Middle Eastern food? My cousin's join. I keep telling you this. He swear those are his cousins. You were a, a Latino. We're all family. You're a Latino, Mark. But yeah, let me go get dressed, y'all. She calls our puppy Dentures. So her name is Fluffy, but she she has a under bite. It's not even that bad. Her little, you can see her little teeth. But he calls her Dentures. Mark, stop calling her Dentures, man. Dentures, Dentures. Yeah, I got these clip-ins on Amazon. So look, my hair is this long. Bob left, I got a smoothing treatment and my ends are so bad that she literally had to like chop my hair. Y'all see how blunt this is? So my hair is here. My hair was about here before she cut it. So I got these clip-ins on Amazon. I don't remember how much they were, but I can write the name on in the description, but I love them because it matches like the, you know when you get like a silk press and your hair starts frizzing up? So it kind of like matches my hair texture. I love kinky straight hair. I'm not gonna wear makeup because I'm too lazy for that. I had three days of jury duty. Three days. Yeah. I'm tired. You ready, Mark? Are you ready? No. Okay, let's go. Yeah, Mark got this GoPro and I'm impressed. I honestly, it's like, well, you guys can see, right? So it has like a wider view. Oh, standard quality. Let me change the quality actually. Oh, let's do highest quality. Oof, yes, that's beautiful. Wide lens. Oh, I didn't know you can do that. This, so you can change like how wide the lens looks. So it has a linear, which is 19 to 39 millimeters. And then the widest one is going to be 16 to 34 millimeters. Oh, damn, there's a super view. Now this looks kind of weird. I wish you guys can see what I'm saying now. Hyper view. Actually, I can show you guys what am I saying. This is what I was talking about. So this year has like the wind options. Ready, put my clip in then. Yeah, this looks just like my hair. I'm probably gonna order some like bundles and do a sew in. I literally have not done a sew in probably since maybe 2018, so that's five years. 
So I'm gonna order some hair. Um, I have about three clients to see for Ivy Trips. Um, those clients did opt in to not be recorded, so I can't really record them. But yeah, we're gonna go. My first client is, um, appointment is at 11.30, so it's 10.53, but they're only about like 12, 15 minutes from me, so I'm not in a rush rush. I've actually been seeing this client about like once a week. So she gets um, she gets the B12 shot, which helps with like energy, um, helps with your metabolism, helps to kind of help like, you know, if you're trying to lose weight, it kind of helps with that. Um, also, if you're like anemic and stuff, and she also gets like a Myers cocktail or like a beauty drip. So we're going to her first. And of course, I have to have the scrubs on, y'all. I see scrubs. Don't judge my ashy feet. Okay, so let's go. Why'd you go to trench court on it? All right. So finish with my first client of the day. I'm headed to the gas station because I legit got like 30 miles left till I'm on E. And my next climb is 20, 20 miles away, not 20, 18 miles away. So I'm not gonna risk it because I'm not trying to get stuck on the side of the road. So we're going to the gas station. But yeah, my client was telling me how um, she was feeling all tired and stuff. So. She definitely needed the B12 shot. And it's crazy because a lot of people love the B12 shot. Like the um, owner of my suite, she gets a B12 shot every single week. And I just she just tells me to deduct it from my rent. So instead of paying $250 every week, I pay $225 every week. So that saves me what? Like what? $120? Bucks? Not $120. Bucks, $100 bucks a month? That's something. But yeah, on to the next patient or client, y'all. So I'm definitely going to make a video about how I... Um, did the setup and stuff for like my IV hydration talk about the company that I'm um, partnered with that it allows me to have like have the um, pharmacist available the uh, medical director all the good stuff so I'll definitely make a detailed video of that because I do get that question a lot on like my um, business TikTok and it's crazy because this one person emailed me on my Instagram and stuff she's like I love your Instagram She's like, I started my IV hydration, blah, blah, blah. And I asked her what her credential is, because in Florida, people be doing sketchy things. Y'all, this lady was a medical assistant and phlebotomist. You legally can, it's not even within your scope of practice to actually infuse someone into someone, because you're technically giving what's meant. Even in the hospital, normal saline is considered a medication. Like the flush itself is considered a medication. So for you to not be a nurse, a nurse practitioner, a doctor, PA, or any of that, and you're doing stuff like that, it's a legal one. You're putting patients at risk because, God forbid, an emergency happens. You're not BLS or ACLS certified, so you're not going to know what the hell to do. So, like, I literally ended up, like, not messaging her, and um, I blocked her because I was like, bro, I'm not, no. Like, she wanted me to, like, teach her. I shouldn't have to teach you. You should know what magnesium, you should know what all this stuff is, normal saline, how to start an IV, all of this. I should not have to teach you that, like, no. So yeah, that was my little spiel. I don't know, Florida be a little sketchy. I'm going to my last client of the day. So I just had three clients I said, y'all. Yeah. And I'm actually passing the suite. This client is like 10 minutes from the suite. And you see the suite is right there where it says um, classes size. So we're right there across from the Advent Health Urgent Care Center. Please leave your message for Linda. God bless. Call me back. Hello. 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 Hi, is this Linda? Hi, is calling this number? This is Sabrina. I was calling from Surprise Aesthetics. Well, surprise aesthetics. You filled out a form on one of our ads online on Facebook. For what? For um, IV hydration. 
child fell to fall for no, no, to my hydration. Yes. You're Linda Sims? No, I fell to fall for no hydration. I'm hydration. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. I guess I have the wrong number. They put your number down. I'm sorry. Hydration? Ivy Hydration. It's Ivy Infusions. What you do there? Um, we have Ivy Infusions that help with things like hangovers, um, beauty infusions. Hangovers? Yeah. Beauty infusions. No, I don't know hangovers. I don't even try. No, it's not just for hangovers. We have different infusions that help with different things. I was just trying to tell you some of the... Um, you about for energy? Yes, we have um, vitamin B12 injections that help with energy. Girl, I do, my doctor, if I need something like that, my doctor give me that. I don't know how you get my number. Please take my phone this, okay? Okay, Thank I you. will. Sorry. That's okay. Hi, Linda. My name is Sabrina. I'm calling from Surprise Aesthetics. I'm calling because it looks like you entered information on one of our Facebook ads about an IV drip. You seem very interested, so we want to ensure that your appointment is scheduled and set. So we're just calling to see if you're still interested to get your 50% off your first IV drip. If you can please give us a call back whenever you get the chance. Finished with all my clients and services of the day, so I am actually at a, what time is it? It's 3.10, so I'm actually about to walk to this coffee shop called, uh, hold on, let me look it up, Minx, B-Y-N-X. One thing about me, yeah, I'm going to find a coffee shop, so I'm about to walk. It's like on the other street, so. If you know downtown Orlando, it's a bunch of like street parking or like parking garage, but I actually parallel parked y'all. Let me show y'all. Hold on. I gotta get out this damn car. Got my laptop. Let me take all the stuff out of my bag that I don't need. Let's go, y'all. Yeah. I gotta figure out if I gotta pay for parking here or on an app, though. some um haitian patties right well i got to the restaurant for one and there was this lady there and like she she didn't speak um she didn't speak any creole so there's like americans who go to this restaurant but she didn't speak any creole and the lady that was working behind the counter she barely spoke english so like they're like struggling i'm like I, I really didn't want to help but i was like fuck it because i'm trying to get my order because i ordered some haitian patties and a, a um smoothie so I said, fuck it, let me help her. This lady was trying to order all this stuff. She was trying to order grill, the dude John John, um, white rice, suswa, all that stuff. And I had to like explain all of that to her. And I was just like, look at me doing my good deed for the day. But yeah, your girl got some pate corde. If you're Haitian, 
you know what that is. But pate cotta is like our equivalent in Haiti to like empanadas or Jamaican patties. Let's just say that. The only difference is that we put eggs in there. Like it has eggs. I also, I don't know what that is in English. I think that's like saltfish or something. I don't even know. Um, like hot dogs where they could put like chicken in there with like, you know, the onions and stuff like that. But I have been going to Little Haiti Pate. I've been going to Little Haiti Pate Corte in Orlando since like 2019. And funny story is that this, the owner used to have a restaurant in Miami when I lived in Miami. It used to be like kind of across the street from North Miami High School. And I used to go there for patties. And back in like 2019, actually no, maybe 2018, I actually started going there. Back in like 2018, 2019, I, I was looking for a restaurant and I stumbled onto this one. And when I walked in, I'm like... I'm looking like, you look very familiar. And he's like, you look familiar. And I'm like, did you have a restaurant in Miami? He's like, yeah. And I'm like, was it this place? He's like, yeah. And I'm like, wow, you moved up to him? I'm like, this is a small world. But long story short, he was telling me how, like, Orlando, it was more expensive to, like, rent, um, like, a restaurant in Orlando than, like, in Miami. Which I'm pretty surprised because Miami is expensive as hell. Well, this is, this is pre-COVID, of course, we're thinking about, so... By now, it's probably way more expensive, but about to go home. Damn, 29 minutes. Ugh, I live far from every, everything, y'all. Starting route to home. Yep, 29 minutes. Proceed so, yeah, see you guys start. when I get home. Once again, proceed to West Colonial Drive, then uh -huh. turn right. I've never heard Siri say that. Hey, y'all. It's the next day. Next morning, I should say. So, I switched up my hair. I love these clippings. I'm about to go to my aunt's house because my fiance had gave my uncle these golf clubs that his dad had at his house. Like we were like clearing the house in North Carolina. As you know, my uncle plays um golf, so he gave him the golf clubs. And my uncle was like, oh, they're pretty old and he really hasn't used them. So he's like, if you want, you can pick them up. So that's exactly what I'm going to go do. She only lives like 15 minutes away from me, so not too far of a drive. Yeah, it's literally Saturday. Okay, I'm just doing some dishes. Remember how I said I won this um, trip, right? So don't mind the water. I'm still washing these dishes. So remember how I said I won this trip, right? So I did win the trip. Um, and the trip required like a 90-minute um, to two-hour presentation, right? Yeah, we were there for... We were there from 1.30, because our appointment was at 1.30, till like almost six o'clock literally like five almost six o'clock like that's how long we were there for so basically what it was just to warn other people because obviously i didn't know what the hell it was going to be so all they told us was oh yeah there's like going to be a, a hour and a half to two hour presentation they're going to show you one of their um resorts or whatever which they did do um but it basically is like a timeshare. Like they're trying to sell you a timeshare. I don't know if you've ever seen it before, but they're basically trying to sell you a timeshare. They start off by asking you like, what is your dream vacation? Yada, yada, yada. What do you do for a living? Like what's your annual income and all this stuff. And like they gaslight you like a mother effort. Like their girl was like, oh my God, your hair is so nice. Your edges are nice, girl. These edges are balding. Like, I don't, like, what she was saying, I'm like, like that, that kind of made me look all suspicious. Like, she kept trying to compliment, like, everything. Even, like, my coach book bag. I'm like, it's a coach book bag. She's like, is it limited edition? Oh, my God. I was like, no, it's a coach book bag. Like, everything she tried, for some reason, it just kind of, like, creeped me out. I don't know why. But, yeah, the girl was really nice. She had an amazing personality. And, like, she tried her best. She's like, oh, what, how much do you guys do? been on like vacation i was like honestly i don't really know like i only went on vacation once this year i was supposed to go twice but typically like i might spend like maybe three thousand to four thousand a year on vacation that's like including like flights and everything so she put my number as like 3500 that's so okay yeah that's fine and she's like oh over a lifetime you're gonna end up spending 110,000 I was like wow that's actually a big number so they kind of do that so you could be like oh my god that number is big so they can sell you on a smaller number basically so if you don't know what a timeshare is like you're basically like buying into like these resorts and stuff and like they're supposed to make your vacation so cheaper essentially 
So like she was saying, like they have different um, types of, um, they didn't call it timeshare. They call it like vacation club. They had one for like, um, for people who go on cruises and everything. If you're someone that likes to go on resorts, they even have one where it's like a point system where you just pay $1,200 and then you get like 50 points. And like, let's say a hotel in Dubai might be like 10 points out of that 50 points. Then you still have 40 points left over. And then she was saying, oh yeah, usually people who come here, there are people who have spent like 50,000 already with carnival, yada, yada, yada. And I'm like looking around, I'm like, these people don't look like they even spend $50,000 on a vacation a year. Like, who, who the fuck are you, you playing with? Like, I was like, you're just a liar. Like in my head, I was already suspicious. So then they don't, mind you, she didn't, like, we didn't even know how much like the vacation club was for like three, four hours later, literally. Cause they go through this whole spiel. How much I have? You know what? I'm gonna look for the paper and I'm gonna show you the paper. I think it's in my book bag after I finish these dishes. But basically they try to make you pay into like these timeshares, AKA vacation clubs, that's what they call vacation clubs. And this timeshare, cause I was like, oh, okay, I don't mind spending like, you know, $4,000 a year, blah, blah, blah. Cause I already spend that already. Nah, they hit you with this, oh, it's only 17,000, blah, blah, blah. And then, you're guaranteed this for three generations and then you have to put down 2,900. And I was like, I'm not looking to finance anything. And they literally had three people. So it was her first and then it was her manager. Her manager was the one that actually brought us actual numbers. And then when we kept saying no, I was like, can I talk to my fiance in private? And he was like, okay. And then he came back, he tried to say, oh, his first marriage didn't work out because he didn't, you know, spend time with her. You know, they, they try to sell you. It's like car salesmen, basically. They try to, like, hit you in, like, spots that are sensitive. I didn't give a damn what he was saying. Then the next guy, he was like, oh, yeah, I'm a pastor. You know, you got to walk by faith. Blah, 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 blah. They tried everything. And it was like, oh, it, they tried to, like, lower it. They went from, like, 17000 to, they had, like, one that's 12000 but you can only travel every other year with it. And like when we denied that, that's when the other guy, the Hispanic pastor, came and like started try to talk to us. He's like, I've been doing it for 22 years, blah blah. The payment is so cheap. I'm like, it's not the payment. I can pay seventeen thousand dollars right now out of my bank account. I just don't like the idea of it. Like I, I didn't like the idea of that. Like it just sounded too good to be true. And we kept saying no, no. And Mark was angry, so he was like, if I have to say no one more time, I'm going to go off on these people, because I swear, we probably said no over like a hundred times. Like, these people do not take no for an answer at all. Like, it was so bad. And eventually, we were like, no, we're just not interested. And whether we said yes or no, we still want our free vacation, so either way. So basically, what, how I think they run their business is that they do like all these giveaways and stuff and then they entice people to come into their business and try to sell you on timeshare so that's basically what they were doing when i got home i literally went on tiktok and i was looking at all these horror videos of like people getting suckered into timeshares and i was i read the reviews on that specific place and people oh my god the reviews are so bad this one guy was saying this one lady was saying how she had just lost her son and she was saying Frank, the guy that was there, the manager, he was like, oh, this will be amazing because you get to travel, blah, blah. And she said that she immediately regretted, like, no one gave her a contract. Like, she didn't even understand. Like, she wasn't even able to access her amenities or any of that to be able to book. And what they don't tell you is that it has to be available. Like, they're saying, oh, you go to Dubai, but let's say you're trying to go to Dubai, like, in three weeks. If three weeks is not available, you can't use your timeshare, basically. So she was complaining about that, and she couldn't get out of it. And, like, people go into, like, you go into collection if you don't make your monthly payment and all of that. And, like, they don't talk about, like, the maintenance fee. Let's say you finish paying off the $1,000, but there's still a yearly maintenance fee. And that maintenance fee may increase over time, basically. So, it's, it's kind of like, there's people who benefit from it, but they scam a lot of people who don't don't like it or don't benefit and don't realize what they're signing up for because they really don't like, they make it they sugarcoat it so much so like, oh my god how can i pass up on this offer well i'm so glad me and mark passed up on the offer because i swear after we said no their personality changed they were like a whole different person they were as friendly anymore i was like oh so you're not you're not nice anymore my hair don't look good no more and all of this so i'm just happy that we did not sign up for it 
they try to like pin you against each other because they kept saying, oh, you want to take your 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 fiance to on a vacation, blah, blah, blah. She deserves it, yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, man, I'm starting grad school. I'm not, I do not want to pay $17,000 for this. And I'm not going to be able to travel as much as I want. So I was like, nah. And they just did not care, bro. They kept going. But yeah, we eventually left. We got our, um, you're supposed to get like a certificate after you finish. But it was more like a, a, a text message is like a number and like a um, a code that you get and you have to activate it. So they give you six months to activate it and a year to book your trip. And yeah, hopefully no one ever goes through it. I mean, if you do do it, they do give a lot of free things. Like I was on TikTok and people were like, oh yeah, I want a free trip to Disney. And like a lot of people already know how it is, so they're like prepared to say no, but these people are just very good at their job and some people just get suckered into it. Like if you're a people pleaser, you're gonna get suckered into it. Because some people will make it sound so good. Very, very good. But yeah, that's what happened yesterday. I was so tired by the time I got home, you know. I mean, I would do it again. At least next time I would know what to expect and I would tell them straight up, I'm like, no, 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 no. They give me my free thing and I'm out of here, y'all. Issues. Let me go get that paper and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Here's some of the paperwork. So they tried to sign me up for a credit card. I was like, nah, bro, I don't want no credit card. And the reason why I took this paperwork is because I had already written my social security on it and I wasn't gonna let them keep that and I wasn't sure if they were gonna shred it or not. I'd rather use a shredder in our home office. So this is like the interest rate, which is pretty high. Like, look at this 30%. Yeah, no, he was like, oh, use it for gas and then use the points to travel. Yeah, like they, they're good at their job. Let me try to find. Yeah, see, they had like all my information on here. I was like, yeah, no. So that paper. And then... Like this is like the paper who's like, oh, you get to go to two trips to Thailand, two trips to Hawaii, Jamaica, trip to um, anywhere in the United States, Orlando. And these are like eight, eight days, seven night, eight days, seven night, five night, four night. I'm um, four, five days, four night. Like they, they just, they tried everything, y'all. Um, and then this is like the another the credit card application too. I wish I had the paperwork where he was, um, where he wrote the number. Damn, I thought I had that paper. I guess I didn't take it with me. But yeah, like these people are really good at their job. So if you're someone that wins something like this, just be, be very careful because they will sucker you into it. They don't care what your financial responsibilities are. They just care about making that commission off of you, basically. So, and the girl was saying how she was salary. Bullshit, you ain't salary, girl. You are commission. Jobs like that are commission. Like those people can make a lot of money. The more people that they bring in the more money that they make so be careful with that tell you be careful don't fall for it i ain't fall for it we didn't fall for it so yeah but yeah i just we had to figure out where we can go for our trip so probably gonna plan it soon too because we want to elope y'all i do not want a wedding i am probably going to elope and mark and i finally decided that because people like whenever i tell people i don't want to get um have a wedding they're like oh is it is it because of the money no it's not the money i can pay for a wedding i just don't want to pay for a wedding like my classes are forty eight thousand dollars for my whole program why would i go spend thirty thousand on a wedding for one day one day am i gonna get any money from it no i'm not so i don't want a wedding just that's just how i feel about it i don't want a wedding like if my mom was still here i would definitely have a wedding but she's not here so i'm not having a wedding like my aunt, I went to my aunt's house yesterday and she was like, oh, you know, if you have a wedding, I'll, I'll, do, I'll give you the dress. You know, that's I owe that to you. I'm your godmother. I was like, no, I don't want a wedding. What's the point of getting a wedding dress? Like, I appreciate it, honestly, but that's what it is. Yeah, I'm about, I walk the dogs. I need to go shower because... I woke up in like a like sweating because I sleep with like a thick blanket and I always have to have the fan on or else I'm gonna wake up sweating. And Mark turned the fan off, so I woke up sweating. So I need to go shower so I can feel refreshed and clean. Well, the back cameras. Oh, okay, so that is the front one, yeah. Oh.
Slide. I wish I could zoom in. That's the only thing I don't like about this camera. Are they gonna go? Okay, oh, I guess I have to wait. So yeah, I just woke up and I just felt like I need to do all this stuff. And oh, my God. so I decided that I want to decorate my suite a little more because I feel like my suite is boring. Cause I had a customer come in, she was like, "Oh, she's like, you don't have that much decoration." I'm like, "Well, technically, I just started." She's like, "Oh, she's like, you should decorate it more." Blah blah blah. So I ordered this accent wall off of Amazon. Let me show you guys. It's like a white and gold. Cause most of the stuff in my suite is white, so I was like, I need some color in here, y'all. Let me see if I can show you. I literally just ordered it. So we're going to Home Goods, Target, maybe Target, and then I want to pass by Hobby Lobby because you know Hobby Lobby does have decorations too. So I ordered these. So I ordered this um these clear shelves, basically. Uh, I just think this focus. But I ordered these clear shelves and then I ordered this um, little bag right here just to complement my um, I other mobile IV bag that I have. So this one, I'll just put probably like my vitamins and stuff in here and then my shop container. And then this is the wallpaper. So I love it. I got the biggest one, which was the 393 inches by 17.7 inches. So I got that one and I got two of them just in case. If I don't use the other one, I'll just return it. So... Let me just pack my stuff and then we can go.
Hobby Lobby. I'm actually going to go home, get dressed, because I do have the appointment at 2 o'clock. So I'm going to go home and get dressed. And then head to another Home Goods that's closer to the suite. And then hopefully I find some cuter stuff. I went to Target and I feel like they had stuff, but then I kept like second guessing it. So I just left everything and just walked out empty handed. So I'm just gonna go home now. So we're about to put this together. Ooh, it's heavy. I can't even see you.
tomorrow is at nine o'clock so we think I have to get up by seven get to sleep by 8 15 ish yeah if I was a fry cook I would have been fired by now just saying that out loud so fatties she's gonna be the first one to get burned because she's always right by the stove and then Lily will be second they have a camera fluffy. Oh, my little precious poopy. You're so bad as hell. It's past your bedtime. Once I'm done eating, you're gonna go right in that crate of yours, fluffy. Right? Oh. You're so cute. <laughs> they got their nails cut today because Lily's nails grow so fast. Like, I be saying that she got acrylic because her nails will get so long and all you hear is like little ta -ta 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 -ta, tap 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 on the floor. Oh, this is hot. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Sorry, I know. I'm gonna sit y'all right here so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, but y'all, I seriously have to get a new stove because my stove is like illegally hot. I could put something on two and I swear to you, it will be boiling. And I, that's, you know, clearly that's not normal. Ah, damn, my step burn. Ow. See what I mean? Ow. Oof. That's not fun, y'all. So here's my makeshift. Oh, what's going on my tripod? So here's my makeshift burger. I have some onion, some cheese, the burger bun, and then I added a tomato in there. And I don't like a lot of onions. So I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna go to sleep. Oh my God, it's still raining. I really hope the weather kind of gets a little bit better tomorrow because I don't wanna be driving that early in this horrible weather. See y'all tomorrow. Happy Friday. I'm getting a start to my day. Oh, my tripod. What the hell? I'm just about to, um refill my to go ivy bag with some lactated ringer so i just i ran out of the the big lr bag what is wrong with my okay she's staying so i ran out of the um the big lr bag and the 50 i'm gonna say 50 500 in my bag so i'm about to put some in my bag i think we're gonna head out
on a date night. I'm about to get ready. Let me show you guys my ultimate favorite foundation powder. I don't know if it's foundation or pressed powder. So because I have like really good skin and I don't really have any acne or anything, I use pressed powder, like foundation powder, because I don't like the look it. So I get the um, Fenty one and I am the color 460. So this is the Fenty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. And then this is like my old one. This one is obviously expired, which I didn't realize it's all looked at the date on there. Let me see if I can. Yeah, I've had this for like two and a half years and it's only good for 12 months. So I went to Sephora and I got a new one. So we're gonna throw this old one out. <laughs> 